shall we? CinemaCon rolls on this week as theater owners get sneak peeks at some of the most anticipated upcoming films. Warner Brothers presented on Wednesday, and attendees were treated to previews of DC superhero offerings like Justice League, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman. Plus, Christopher Nolan showed off his much-anticipated war movie, Dunkirk. Justice League director Zack Snyder hit the stage with his cast, Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, Jason Momoa, Ezra Miller, and Ray Fisher, following a sizzle reel which showed off the new footage, plus an expanded version of this trailer from last week. The new material gave viewers a peek into a warehouse where we see Affleck's Bruce Wayne working on a new troop carrier vehicle. The Hollywood Reporter's Aaron Couch was there, and he said, The scene seemed reminiscent of something from the Batman v Superman nightmare dream sequence. Later in the footage, Batman and Miller, aka The Flash, are standing on a roof out of costume, and they see the bat signal in the sky. Oh, awesome, it's the bat signal. That's your signal, Barry tells Bruce before apologizing for speaking too loudly about it. That means we have to go now. That's so cool. Maybe it sounded different than that. As for Wonder Woman, she got her own moment as new footage from her solo film included a look at the love story that develops between Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor, played by Chris Pine. Still no Gal Gadot in the house, but Pine and director Patty Jenkins hit the stage, and Pine explained, it has a Casablanca feel, which I don't think we've seen in this universe before. Elsewhere in the DC Universe, Aquaman star Jason Momoa introduced a video with director James Wan of a concept art sizzle reel for the film that showed plenty of the character fighting, both underwater and above ground, as well as a look at the villain, Black Manta. Another big highlight from Warner Brothers Wednesday was director Christopher Nolan showing up to reveal, as The Hollywood Reporter's Aaron Couch put it, stunning and intense new footage from his upcoming World War II drama, Dunkirk. I wanted to tell the story in the most visceral way possible. I wanted to take that audience and put them on that beach, said Nolan. Nolan is a favorite among theater owners, with the British director being among the most prominent proponents of IMAX theaters and the movie-going experience. This is the first time we're using IMAX cameras to their full effect. We've been using them more and more, starting with The Dark Knight. So that's just a peek into Warner Brothers Day at CinemaCon. Which of these movies are you guys most excited about? Let me know in the comments. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Paul Costable. See you guys.